Okay, we're going to check out the instrument editor in this tutorial. Uh, first, let's quickly make a sample. So sample editor, right click new, 64 samples long. Let's make uh, a sine wave, 100%, one period, okay. And click forward, now we have a loop sine wave. Close the sample editor, and we're going to open up the instrument editor. So on the Mac, that's command option I, or you can click this button here, NZ. And there are a lot of buttons here, but we're only going to worry about a few of them. So uh, here's the volume slider. So in, instead of changing the sample volume to 50%, we can change the volume slider to 2-0. Uh, next is the volume envelope in this section here. So first I'm going to turn it on and we're going to add a point for the volume envelope. And let's make this 100% and we've got along the x-axis is time and y-axis is volume. And I can move this point around. I can also add points. I can delete points. I can sustain points, or maybe sustain this point. And I can also loop points. So that would sound like this. So let's write something and play around with this volume envelope. So let's do something sharp like this, a sharp drop. And we'll just quickly record something. And I'll, uh, I'll change the uh, length of the pattern just so we can get a quicker loop. And let's see what that sounds like. Now I can change the speed up here. I can zoom in on the envelope. change this a little bit a little bit more okay let's create another instrument so this is like our, our sign uh, let's uh, open up the sample editor new 64 and we'll create uh, a triangle wave loop and then instrument editor. And let's make this kind of like long drony notes. So something low, so I'm hitting F2 and we'll make this, I don't know, 30. And turn on the volume envelope. Whoops, I accidentally had record mode on, so Let's go back and fix that. Okay, record mode is off, and let's see if we can get an interesting sound with the triangle wave. Something lower. Okay. Zoom out, let's add a point, and well, maybe we can loop these two points. Okay, let's record that. Now 
let's make one more. Uh, open sample editor, new 64. You're going to get really fast at this the more samples you create. Let's do a saw wave this time. Loop, instrument editor, saw waves are very sharp in how they sound, so we're going to lower the volume quite a bit. And let's make um, a sound that drops. Make sure you turn on the volume envelope. And let's make like a looped sound like this. Oh, we want something higher. And make sure we loop these points. Let's make that a little faster. Not that, not too fast. Not that fast, yeah. Okay, let's uh, record something. I don't know. And what we can do is we, uh, we can record over multiple channels. So let's uh, record over here. And then to cut off a sound abruptly, you can use the, the key beside the, the one key. So let's cut it off and it comes up with this this symbol which means that the sound that is occurring before the square symbol is going to be immediately cut off on that row let's see what this sounds like Yeah, so obviously this needs quite a bit of tweaking. But for the sake of the tutorial, hopefully that gives you a good introduction to what you can do with the instrument editor. I definitely play around with it. Uh, create short volume envelopes, long ones, looped ones. Actually, another thing that you can do is take, let's say, any volume envelope. So let's take um, the one for sign. And what we can do is we can copy it and then select all the other different instruments and paste them. So now all of our instruments have the same volume envelope. And then what we can do is uh, going back into the pattern editor is change the instrument. So I'm just going to just kind of like go randomly here. And now all of these, all of these notes we don't need so, but you'll just get the idea of the effect. And what we can do, we can add as many samples as we want. So, so there's the saw. Let's, uh, let's do one more square. Okay, and we'll change the volume to 15. Let's just name this so we can see it. And now we've got four samples to play with. So I'm just gonna go one, three, two, four, whatever. Let's see what this sounds like. Oops, forgot to loop it. It's too loud, so I changed the volume. And I also need to add the envelope here, so copy, paste. Very cool. And then what we could do is take this, I'm holding down shift and then uh, clicking end, so it's going to go to the end of the pattern. Command C for copy, home to go to the beginning of the pattern, and I'm going to uh, copy and paste this down one pattern and we're going to create some kind of echo effect and see what this sounds like.
and then maybe for fun we'll uh, turn down the volume of these by I don't know six maybe it needs to be copied one more row so again arrows shift and copy home paste very cool Yeah, so when you're first starting out, the easiest way to find expression of sound is by playing with those volume envelopes. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Subscribe, Patreon, groovymusic.com. See you in the next one.